Hi guys, it's Chessa with Checker. Welcome to our What's New Live. Quilt shops from all over the world depend on Checker for the newest fabrics and notions. I'm here today to show you just a few of the over 120,000 items that you'll find at CheckerDisc.com. It's always fun to see where you're watching from, so make sure you leave a comment with your shop name and location. Checker has many ways for you to see what's new in the quilting world and to just stay up to date. We send a bi-weekly email on Mondays with just the newest items that have been added in the prior two weeks. You can also use the drop down on our website and sort newest to oldest on all of the categories. And of course, we are always posting the newest products on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. Don't forget about our Q&A at the end. Our buyers are also standing by, so they might be able to answer your questions directly. If you need to step away and tend to your shop, don't worry, because this video stays on Facebook, and you can come back and rewatch it at your convenience. There is also a link in the description of the video that is just for the items that are being shown today to make ordering easy. Maria DeGroot, our Creative Grid Specialist, will be showing a new left-handed Creative Grid ruler, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that, as well as she's going to be talking about some new Gypsy Quilter notions. So let's see who's watching today. Angel at Halo Inspirations in Virginia, thanks for tuning in. Hello Tony from So Blessed in Georgia. Pink Petunia's Patchwork in Canada. Hello to my lovely mother. Hello, Karen from Sew and Love Fabric in Vermont. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Let's get started with new books from CNT Publishing. First up is Joyful Stitch Combinations. Let's switch down to the table. There we go. This has 350 embroidery designs. There are new daily prompts, a comprehensive stitch guide, and step-by-step -step instructions for four small projects. It's joyful stitch combinations. Get ready for Christmas cuddles with adorable applique with the Birds and Toyland book from Becky Goldsmith and Linda Jenkins. It holds a variety of whimsy and wonder, and it's everything you've come to expect from Piece of Cake Designs. Quilters can choose between two merry colorways, working with cotton, felted wool, or a mixture of both. Birds and Toyland. From Fan Powered Press, Smocking Secrets. You can learn the art of smocking from award-winning costume designer Maggie Hoffman. There are step-by-step -step instructions for 20 American and English smocking techniques. Cosplayers can incorporate 3D textures, historical accents, and special effects like fish scales into their designs. Smocking Secrets. From Stash Books is a leather craft. Skilled artisan Amy Glatfelter teaches how to make 15 gorgeous projects in leather using small cuts of material, easy techniques, and inexpensive tools. From buttery soft clutches and totes to leather wrapped planters and stylish jewelry, makers will learn to create a variety of updated classics that just get better and better over time. Leather Craft. My last book today is 100 Mini Cross Stitch product, Projects from Guild of Master Craftsmen. This was by Rosemary Drysdale. Like I said, it has a hundred small, colorful, and fun motifs to stitch. It provides detailed sections on tools and materials as well as instructions on how to get started and how to read cross-stitched charts. 
there's essential stitches and info on finishing touches. There's so many wonderful designs to choose from. You have bees, bicycles, cupcakes. Here you have a rainbow cat. You guys know I love cats. There are contemporary subjects and styles that are to suit every taste there is. 100 mini cross stitch designs. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna get off the table so that we can let Maria talk about the new Creative Grids left-handed tool. Come on down. <laughs> It's like the price is right. <laughs> hey everybody, it's so good to be back again on Facebook with Chessa and Checker and Creative Grid and all that fun stuff. So our new ruler is this little four and a half inch left-handed version of one of our favorite tools. This four and a half inch is one of our best sellers in the original version. So this one is going to be noted with the teal band across the top. And when you open it up, you're going to see there's a black hand printed right on the ruler to remind you that this is a left-handed version. So just like the originals, you've got white numbers on black circles and black numbers on white circles. You've got a 45 degree angle for trimming half square triangle blocks. There's a bullseye right across the middle to show you the center of this block. So if you're trimming up four patches, you can put that seam right along those white lines. And of course, it's got our wonderful grip that we cannot live without. So welcome to the family, our new four and a half inch left-handed ruler. That would work great with our rotary cutter too, since our Perfect. rotary cutter is left yes. and right-handed. You are right, Chessa brings up a good point. Don't forget about our new 45 millimeter rotary cutter that is selling like crazy. We're so happy about this and excited. For those that haven't taken a look at it yet, the toggle button here in the middle, I'm simply going to press in and slide to the left if I'm cutting left-handed. Look how it opens up the blade back there. I'm going to push it in and toggle it back to the center again to make it safe toggle it to the right for right-handed cutting so you don't have to flip the blade around to the other side of the handle. Super easy to use. And on the back side, you'll see the easy release button to change the blade. I'm simply going to slide that, lift the handle off the post, take that blade off, put a new one on, and replace with a simple slide of that tab again. Grip along the sides here for when you're cutting so you won't lose your grip on the cutter. I love the weight. I've been using this, I think, for four months now, five, six months maybe. <clears throat> a lot of the stress in my wrist has gone away. I can do this with my thumb again, <laughs> which is really great. So uh, previously I did not have a preference for weight of handle, but I do have a preference now, and that would be our Creative Grid 45 millimeter rotary cutter. And we're going to clear the deck of that and bring out some gypsy quilter items. Am I uh, talking about all of these? Yeah. You want to do some? Okay. You can do it all. All right. And we're, <coughs> I need the mat cleaner and the slap band. Or you want to talk about those later? Oh, we can talk about them all. <laughs> I'm going to mess up, your, mess up your system here. <laughs> like I have a system. <laughs> so as long as I've got my cutting mat out, I want to show you our new mat cleaning pad. I'm going to open it up so you can see how it works. I love the color for Gypsy. Oh. I'm doing top down now. Sorry. Oh, sorry. All right. Well, this is why you guys are here, because I can't see that far away from the screen. <laughs> see what, what I look like. So, little silicone heart which I love the shape of anyway, has got these little grooves and little nubbies on there. I'm simply going to slide my fingers in and I'm going to do this across my mat. So for those that don't know, a self-healing mat is wonderful, but if you've got debris or dust or threads stuck in the mat anywhere, it cannot heal. It doesn't push the garbage out of the cracks, so to speak. So you need something to 
clean that little debris out there. So between the grooves and nubs and a little bricks, maybe I want to call them, <laughs> it pulls the little bits of yarn, batting, etc., right out of the mat so then the mat can heal. So welcome to our mat cleaning pad. Along the same line of purple and hearts, which those that know me know how much I love purple anyway, I've got a pin cushion slap band. If you have our slap, slap and wrap peels, is that what they're called? Mm -hmm. The heart is your magnet. Oh yeah, some pins would be great. So there you go. And to apply, you're simply going to slap it onto your wrist and let it wrap around. It's one size fits everyone because it's going to adjust to whatever width you're wrapping it around. So maybe you're putting it around a roll of paper towels that are on your table because you want those pins handy. Or maybe you like to do this and pin as you go from your wrist. I, I love this because I always have a pin ready and handy. To and take. it's flexible so uh -huh. you're moving. It's Exactly. And to take it off, you just straighten it right out from your wrist. And there you go. So I remember in high school, grade school, we had slap bands. So now slap bands for grown-ups. Now you get a <laughs> pin cushion with it and a magnetic one to boot. So welcome to our pin cushion slap band from Gypsy Quilter. And <laughs> We also have added a set of compact screwdrivers. You know, open some up for them. Yes. Yep. So these little guys are, we can measure them right here on the table. The handle is only three quarters of an inch tall. With the tip of the screwdriver, it's an inch and a half. So for all of those hard to reach places on your sewing machine or maybe your tools for taking toys apart, I don't know, all kinds of uses for a screwdriver. The green one is a flathead, and the red one is the Phillips head. So now you can get into all those little hard to reach places easily with the compact screwdriver set from Gypsy Quilter. I realize you have words up there, I'm not even reading them, I'm sorry. <clears throat> all right, next up, and <coughs> final for today, are a set of lighted tools. I have a lighted needle threader and a lighted seam ripper. And I think you can see on screen, see that little light? Here, let's turn just... on there. Just shut a couple bulbs off so we yeah. can see it. <laughs> All right, look at that. So if you need a little bit of extra light when you're working, look at how much that adds to your workspace. And let me grab my needle here. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a nightlight. It is like a nightlight. And there's a switch here that you just slide to turn it off and to turn it on. Now, I don't normally sew in the dark, but I often need a little bit of extra light so I can see what I'm doing. Let's show you how this guy works. Rotary cutter for thread, fabric, <laughs> etc. So I'm going to take a needle. And I know it's very hard to see the eye of the needle. Can you see that eye right there? You're going to slide this little wire tip right through the eye of the needle. Take your thread put through that wire loop, pull the wire guide right back through, and look at that, I just threaded my needle. You weren't even wearing glasses or anything. I wasn't wearing glasses, and I didn't have to lick the end of the thread to get it through there, like, you know, five or six times, because the first time didn't work, cut a new tip, recut the thread again, etc. So that easy. So use this for, even for the larger needles when you're threading embroidery floss through. This is just a heavy cotton thread. Put the wire guide through, thread through the guide, 
pull it right through the eye of the needle. And all I gotta do is tie a knot and I'm all set to go. So, lighted needle threader comes with a little plastic lid that sits on top there to protect it in my sewing room drawer, etc. So not to be outdone by the needle threader, we have a lighted seam ripper to add too. Look at that, just as bright. It's the light of mine. <laughs> yeah. You can sing your little, this little light of mine songs. And <laughs> All right, so this one also comes with the cap. So if you're like me, I use thread to match my fabrics, and then when I have to go to take it out, sometimes it's very hard to see. So that light is going to give a little bit of illumination. while I'm taking threads out of seams. If I can get the tip through there. It'd be good for car rides, like when you're yes. on a road trip and somebody else is driving. And you want to sew night. in a car. Yep. Yeah, or you're hand stitch, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I try not to use a seam ripper if I don't have to, but we all have to. I know, but look at how easy that is to see that little section there that you want to rip out, and it's just with a little flip of a switch. They both come with three batteries in the case here. There will be a little piece of paper you'll have to pull out to, whew, bright light. <laughs> you know, you get used to the dark, and then now yeah. you're flying again. So, three little batteries cover case, lights up, lid on, etc. So some fun new things to add to your toolbox. The needle threader, the seam ripper, the pin cushion slap band, the little screwdrivers, and our mat cleaning pad. So welcome to Gypsy Quilter. We need confetti. Yay! <laughs> Ta-da! So <laughs> Good to see everybody. I'll see you all real soon. Tressa, I think. Back to you. Yeah. Take my toys off the table so you've got stuck space. With me. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say they are stuck with you. It's a joy. <laughs> Some people think so. <laughs> Other maybe <Yeah. might> not. <laughs> all right, guys. So I think next on the list, I'm gonna talk about this beautiful wall hanging behind me. This is from Kimberbell. It's a 44 by 60 inch cup of cheer advent quilt. So you might not be able to see too well, but these pieces, you can move them, you can unzip <coughs> zippers, you can put gift cards inside of it. Your little ribbon can come off, your jingle bells, and you have your days, all 25 for the month of December until Christmas. So there's an activity every day. Um, there are just a whole bunch of embellishments like I was showing earlier. And it's just, it's a whole quilt of fun. And it is available as a kit. Um, and it has one of their, um, ooh, their fancy boxes. Um, you can also get it as just the embroidery pattern. It is just for machine embroidery. There is not going to be a sewing version of this one. Kimberbell usually does both, but not in this case. Um, so there's, uh, like I said, there's just so much fun stuff. You're going to have to go on our website so you can see it up nice and close. It is just, I love it. So that is from Kimberbell. Next, we're going to show the quilt. Chrissy was actually asking me about this one earlier. So she'll be excited to see it in person. This is called Shorty. This is by Barbara Persing. And it was made creating, created using fusible applique. It is 36 by 42. And if we hold it a little higher, you can see it's got the little baby with it too. And the, the full size applique design is included in the pattern. You gotta show them the back. Gotta show them the back. Is that the perfect material for? Oh well. Okay, I can't. I don't know that we carry it, but what she used is yardsticks on the back because giraffes are so tall. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even make that connection. Yeah. I was like, why does Maria want to show the back? Because <laughs> <laughs> you got to measure the giraffe. That 
That's super They're not cute. so short, so that's a cute name. That is. <laughs> See, this is why I need you with me at all times. <laughs> <laughs> I also have um, two new pattern vendors that I want to talk to you about today. The first one is So Mariana. Let me lay out some of them for you. Great, fun colors. They're modern. They're really great for beginners. In the little corners, you can see you got fat quarter friendly. You have pre-cut and scrap friendly, fat eighth friendly, color instructions. So welcome to So Mariana. We are excited to be carrying your patterns. Make sure you check them all out on checkerdisc.com because there are quite a bit more than the ones I'm showing today. I'm sneaking in. Look at this. <gasps> Oh. She's even using creative grid rulers on some of them. One, two, not all of them, you know. We're work we're working on that, but two of the two of the five that you just showed them actually uses some creative grids. So yeah. I'm super the excited two, about the two that. that matter, right? <laughs> no, they no. all Maria's matter. Not, Maria's they not allowed to matter. say that. <laughs> But I love it when the designers mm -hmm. use them because then we promote each other. So yeah. it's a great thing. And there's that ever popular 60 yep. degree diamond mini. Yep. That one's so popular. Yep. That's great. So, little tidbit See, for you. Again, <laughs> what would I do without Maria? <laughs> well, here, do you want to look through these? I do. <laughs> Our next new pattern vendor is Laugh Yourself into Stitches. These are traditional piecing, yet they're kind of whimsical in style. You have a great fall harvest one with your pumpkins. You got a nice patriotic. Love this one. You got the airplanes, the Gerber daisies, a beautiful Papa's tree farm for the holidays. So welcome to Laugh Yourself Into Stitches. All of these patterns and more are available on checkerdisc.com, so make sure you check them all out. Um, real quick, I know there was some comments about a few of the Gypsy Quilter items not making it into the link. Um, Sasha did post a comment in the comment section that takes you to all of them. I do apologize for that. We were originally just going to show a couple, and then we got all excited. And I didn't put them in the list. I just so. stirred the pot. <laughs> that, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. People are excited. They're looking for them. So it's good. Sure. So go ahead and check out the link that Checker Distributors posted. Sasha got that for you. Um, and we will make an edit to the link as well. So next up, I'm going to talk about the five samples I have of um, By Annie Patterns, some of their newest ones. So let's start with the Travel Duffel Bag 2.1. Isn't this just beautiful? It's a great size. I'm sure Chrissy's already eyeing it up for her vacation. Add it to mm -hmm. the list of things you want me to make you. Mm -hmm. Black and white. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the great things about this specifically is even though it's nice and large, it still fits in the overhead bin. So you don't have to check it. It's considered a carry-on then, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I haven't flown. So it would be, it would work as a carry-on. You have a full zipper top. Just look at all that space. You have the little piece on the bottom to keep it standing straight. You it have has a lot of pockets too. Has a lot of and pockets. It I like that. Okay. So your stuff doesn't like Open pockets. You have the zipper pockets like Chrissy mentioned. There's even more pockets on the inside. And you have your carrying handles as well as your option to do it across body or over the shoulder. I like her embellishment on the front too, the Annie's.com. Little, it's yeah, cute. Her label. Her label, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the first one from By Annie today. They're all kind of travel themed, because next up we're going to do the Travel Essentials 2.0. Chris, you might want to go to the table for this one. So I'm going to open it. So as you can see, it clasps 
Again, when you're carrying it, you have the option to do your shoulder strap or the handle. You already got the zipper pocket up front. So then you just, it opens up really large. You could always hook this to your shower curtain or to a command hook and have it hang while you're on vacation. Um, this top pocket here is mesh. Then you just got some clear ones in here. And then you can just open this one up and this would fit some of your bigger products, like maybe your hairspray, some of your makeup. And it also includes instructions for this um, little holder for like your straightener, your iron, your hair dryer. And then that can just sit right in there and it folds right back up. I'll take one of those too in black and white. Okay, well maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll talk to Bayani about getting you some instead. <laughs> and uh, I want to touch base on most of their patterns. I believe all of them, but I don't want you to hold me to that. Includes a coupon for their $5 add-on video tutorial. So when you buy the pattern, you get the coupon and the video is free. And she really goes into depth about how to construct the bags. So those are very handy as well. Mm -hmm. So this one was Travel Essentials 2.0. The next one is Pack It In 2.0. I know you're like, oh, 2.0, 2.1, all that. It's just that they've refreshed the patterns to make it a little bit more handy, a little bit easier to construct. So as you can see, the whole front is mesh. And there's actually multiple sizes. They're nested in them. Oh, you got they're a little different label here. Oh yeah, fancy. Mm -hmm. You open it up, and you have two more sizes. So you're gonna have three the instructions for three different sizes. And I've talked about it before. You guys know how much I love when things nest together. It just helps save space. And then your mesh top is just so great because you can quickly see at a glance what's in here. Maybe you didn't know if you packed a certain pair of shoes and at a glance you're like, yep, got it. You don't have to unpack all of your luggage to make sure. I'm going on vacation soon. I'm the one who actually needs this. You're going to need the big one for all of your, <laughs> all of our sandals. <laughs> I know. We're just going to have to make a bunch of the big size, none of the little ones. <laughs> And then the sand will come out of them if you put your sand in there. That's great. Yeah, you can just shake it and it comes out of the mesh. You should be writing product uh, descriptions, Chrissy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> that was Pack It In 2.0. Next up, we're going to talk about the versatile night and day bags. Again, these are all from By Annie. So these make it really easy for you to quickly change your look because they are actually reversible. And you have instructions for two different ones. You can see this one has handles and you tie in the middle. This one has that hidden magnetic closure and makes a pocket in the middle as well as you have your zippered tops. So lots of room for storage. This one has your crossbody, so you can make it a shoulder bag. And these are all detachable. All the ones I showed you with the crossbody, you can take those off. So if you actually just want to carry this as a clutch, you can do that and you don't have to worry about this hanging by itself. Um, you can also use this, like I said, if you take the clips off, you can put it, it fits great inside this bag, so it would double as an organizer. So you can use this to organize some things and then the rest of the bag for other stuff. And if you're getting ready to run out of town or something, and you just need like your wallet and a couple of your phone, you can just grab this and you have a smaller one to run around with. Again, I love multiple purpose, multi-use things. This is great. The night and day bag. Bag set actually, because you're making two. <laughs> and then lastly <laughs> is the get out of town duffel 2.1 this one's a little small for me and Chrissy 
but it's still a great <laughs> size. Again, you have multiple pockets and zippers. You have the top zipper closure. Again, more pockets on the inside. This one was done with mesh. Again, easy to see what's in there, which is great. Got pockets on the side as well. Your carrying handles. And then you can make it a shoulder bag. <clears throat> this is about the size of my purse. <laughs> I have to carry, I carry so many things with me. But it's good because people always need something. I have it. So those are all from by Annie. I'm going to take a little break here and see who else is watching today. Hello to Carolina Moore in San Diego. We are actually very close to showing your items, so don't you go anywhere. Hello, Janice from Calico House in Nevada. Hello, Sandra from Be Cool Designs in Colorado. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, Karen from Missouri Star. Hello, Carla Jean from Quilting Crazy in Florida. And Tammy from South Dakota. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Let's go ahead and jump in with our next item. We're actually going to talk about some embroidery for their displays from Allery. Laying down so you can kind of get an idea of it. So, these are not a new concept. You guys know Allery does these all the time. They're always updating their designs. This time we have some patriotic and these black and white ones that I know Chrissy's going to try to take. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love their embroidery scissors, they are just such a great and handy size. They're great for snipping little threads to carry in your purse, keep in your desk, because they don't take up a lot of room. So these are 18 piece displays from Allery. I like patriotic too, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worried. <laughs> It'll be a 15 piece set. Yeah, <laughs> we're not going to be able to resell that one because Chris is going to take too many. Maybe we can take so many from each and then we can just combine it and make like a combined one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we don't know what happened. <laughs> they fell out on the truck, I don't know. <laughs> Next up are items from Carolina Moore. We have four that use her new uh, box bag template. And these patterns are printed on 5x7 glossy cardstock. So they're just front and back. They're not going to come in a pouch. There's not a bunch of pages you can lose. So that is super handy. You don't have to keep track of a bunch of things. First up is the simple basket postcard pattern. This one is quick and easy to make. You're just going to use some foam interfacing such as soft and stable or some fusible fleece. This is a really great beginner project for a quilter wanting to learn bag making. It's a pretty decent size. You could just throw some other goodies in there. It'd be great to hold your wonder clips, some pens even. So this is the simple basket postcard pattern. Next from Carolina is a canvas tote. I just love the lemon fabric. Lemons are so trendy right now. We were just talking about that the other day, Chrissy. Yeah, they're really cute too. And this room enough to carry groceries and some other bulky items as well as it's just super easy to make so you can whip out a bunch of them. You can use a heavyweight fabric such as canvas, which is what Carolina used. You could even use denim, cut up those leftover jeans. Next is another bag. It is, would actually make a great hostess gift. It is a wine bag. Carolina, why don't you send me wine with this? <laughs> We're gonna have to have a conversation. <laughs> so this is super cute. Oh, I didn't even notice there's little, is it Frenchies dogs? Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> So this is super cute. I like that it has, it has its handles on the sides. You can hold it like that or hold it on top. So again, this is these are all super quick and easy to make. You're going somewhere like, oh, I need a hostess gift. You can whip this up in just a small amount of time. 
and then these actually on the side you probably aren't actually supposed to carry with them but they add some support so that the bag is nice and sturdy and lastly from carolina are the simple cell phone stands to go to the table Sasha, Caroline. can I have your phone to demonstrate? Caroline says, the FedEx doesn't allow me to ship wine without a license. That's so rude. <laughs> Man. We can come pick it up. <laughs> Road trip. <laughs> Road trip. <laughs> so Chrissy, if you go to the table, you can see this. Chrissy, if you can go to the table. Oh. <laughs> She's too into watching I'm what still, the items I'm are. I'm still thinking about the wine. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the simple cell phone stand. It's super quick and easy, and it's super handy. You're just gonna use your poly pellets or similar filling, and you're just gonna set your phone down, and that's great. You don't have to find something to lean against. I like tend to lean mine against my like water bottle or something, and then it just falls over. So this is great. This would make great gifts and stocking stuffers, the holidays. I know nobody's thinking about those yet, but I'm always thinking about Christmas. My daughter would like them for her TikTok videos. <laughs> Hear that, Carolina? <laughs> Chrissy's list of things just keep getting longer and longer. So thank you, Sasha. So those were all from Carolina Moore. Thanks for sending those in for us. And my last item for today is a quilt called Game Night. This is from Sarah Ruse. And this is a striking and very modern kind of skill builder. Oh, love it. It has a very deceptive, deceptive, deceptively, deceptively, that word. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter how many times I practice. So it looks very, very complicated, but it is very simple. You can actually see block there, have the block here. Nice big blocks. I like working with big blocks. It makes it go quicker. I'm kind of impatient. My mother's chuckling right now. So <laughs> this has multiple unique blocks. It's great to practice your key skills from precision piecing to applique. Um, there are layouts so you can make it in three different sizes. But since your finished blocks are all squares, you can just keep making as many as you want. And you can pretty much make any size that your little heart desires. So this is game night. Fun. All right, do we have any questions? <coughs> Excuse me. Doesn't look like it. I know we tend to answer on the go sometimes, which is great. Well then guys, I think I am done here. The next time we plan to be live is going to be next month on Wednesday, July 20th at 1.30 like usual right here on Facebook. So I will see you in three weeks. And as always, thank you for being a Checker customer. <laughs>